So I've been watching videos on smokers. I was gonna get a master built smoker, but then I watched a video and it said it really doesn't heat unless it gets real hot and you gotta buy a cold smoker attachment. And by the time I was all done, it was gonna be like 350 bucks. And they're like, you're virtually just buying the box. And so I was like, well, if I'm just buying the box, I might as well just use a metal frame. And then I saw some things online with people using file cabinets. I found this file cabinet. First thing I did is I washed it all down. I pulled these drawers out and then you see the slides that they run on. Got rid of the other pieces that were in there. So they do still slide out, but as you can see it tips. When you drill your holes, um, what you're gonna do is make sure you're drilling from the inside of the box out because what's gonna happen is as you push that drill through it's gonna make little tabs that kind of poke out and you don't want those little metal pieces so if you drill from the bottom up inside where you're gonna have your food you're gonna have these little metal spikes. Now I've gone through I've drilled the holes on the very bottom drawer I actually just drilled one that's just so I can get a little bit more air in there. I am going to be doing this outside, so if anything falls, it's just going to be falling down to the dirt. I made a different number of holes in each of the boxes. Here, eight holes. Then this one has ten holes. And this one actually has, I think I put 20 of them in there. And what the eight holes is going to go at the bottom. Well, one up from the bottom. And what this is going to do is trap some of the heat on that bottom. Now when I do all this, I do have... A sandbox which is not being used anymore so it seems like the uh, ultimate place to run my smoker. Put yes. this thermometer in here and this is the first one I'm just gonna put it in the top. I don't have a bit to screw this in. So what I'm gonna try to do is just use a screwdriver. I do want to make sure that I'm getting above this slide rail so I want to make sure I'm getting above this piece right here. I grabbed a smaller screwdriver. There's my hole. Um, this isn't wide enough, so I'm gonna use a screwdriver. So now the next thing that I did is I made these racks. What I did is I found some stoves that were being thrown away and I took the oven racks off and I just propped this one side up. I figured how far it needed to be to get here and then I sawed off the two main ones and then I just came through with a wire cutter and cut these other ones. And then what I did is I took this pliers and I came in here and pulled it back. So I have a couple of these that are a little longer so that I can pull them in and out. And then the other ones just fit. And then that way I can remove this rack. And then push it back into place. Now I have a rack to smoke my fish on. So I did the same thing for the second rack, but then I decided I was going to leave them a little bit longer. I didn't want to have any issues, so I've curved these ones back. So this one has got longer pieces here. I don't know if that'll work out nicer. And then I also angled a couple of these so that they would go down and actually fit right in there. And I drilled three holes next to each other, and then I just twisted it through and broke it. Then I used this screwdriver to pry it open. And then once I got it to where I needed it, I used the pliers and folded the ends down to make sure I got those any tag ends so that nothing gets cut or broke. And so then what I did next is I used a screwdriver and I actually just pounded that down with the hammer until I got through and I made one hole there and one in the other corner. There's already a hole in the front and it's gonna be coming through the sides as well and where the lock mechanism is, there is a huge hole. It was lined in plastic, so I pounded that out. I had put a magnet over the top of that, so it's not just pouring out of that one spot. Okay, so I'm going to do the first burn. I'm putting it in the kid's sandbox. It's not used anymore.
So I lit it and then I opened up that top drawer. You can see the smoke coming out already. So I want to make sure that that gets going. Okay, so I have it's it going here. You can see it's getting really hot down here. And it's burning the paint off, which is good. I don't want that coming off on my fish. I'm doing the same on the other side. So the temperature in here is 250 at the top. I'm going to spray it real quick with water. I'm going to see if I can knock some of that paint off. So I did get some more paint off and then it actually like sucks in on itself when it's warm. So the second it got cold that metal actually contracted and tight tightened back up and then straightened back out. So it should start to suck back in in a second. And you'll hear it as it gets hot popping back in. So what I've done just so I can get this paint off, I've actually loaded all the drawers with wood see if I can get this whole thing heated up and get that paint bu bubbled off so you can see it getting hot here the second drawer is on fire now so it's getting <laughs> it's getting hot here I'm assuming this thermometer is gonna break so the top drawer wasn't burning and then I pulled it out just boom instantly because it was all dried out So the fire's starting to die down in there. My thermometer is over 600 degrees. So it got it was super hot. And then here's one of the things you can see is the difference between the drawers. So after I've heated this up, if I just wet this down, just rubbing off. So I've been... So you can see the difference there. So I'm washing this, but I don't want that in in the food when I smoke it. So I'm gonna clean these all up. And when they're done, it should look like that one right there. So I filled this with willows. I'm gonna do one final burn and I'm gonna season it and it should be good. Okay, so I'm seasoning that smoker right now. So I got it all done now, it took me forever so I didn't want all that cooked in the food so I really cleaned it so I just smoked another batch here and it turned out really good the pieces are nice and dry on the outside so I can stack them next to each other they're moist on the middle um, so what I did is because there's a lot of depth and I was kind of running out of space I decided I'd uh, cut my fillets in half and then I ran a little line through them so I could fold them down and as you can see they're draped down and they're hanging in so you make sure you spray the grates with oil and then we're just gonna pull those off and so you're gonna slide you want to make sure it slides first before you try to pull and then we'll wiggle that up and then we'll just go through and those are really nice pieces they're dry on the on the outside these are perfect